Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are talking about all things going off in the world of football right now. It's a bit crazy. It's going to be a hectic week as the countdown to the new Premier League season kicks off and new seasons across Europe, of course, are all kicking off very soon. It's a busy, busy week. We've already had a very explosive start to it. There are a number of stories going off left, right and centre in regards to things like Harry Kane, Romelu Lukaku's situation won't be going away anytime soon, it seems. Arsenal are looking set to make big waves in this transfer window still. And Tottenham have confirmed, or oh, it's set to be confirmed that they are signing a new centre-back. All things kicking off, all things that we're going to round up in this roundup video. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both of you always and would be greatly appreciated. But for now, let's get back into the video. We're going to start and kick things off with the Harry Kane news. So diving head first into the video, like I say, we've got the Harry Kane news over the past 24 hours. Before that, things have kind of cooled off on the Harry Kane front a little bit. But yesterday, it was revealed that Harry Kane did not turn up for training. He was due back Monday to resume training with Tottenham, seeing as though things haven't quite picked up with uh, the tr with his transfer situation. He was back. It was supposed to be back with Tottenham on Monday, but he failed to turn up. And again today on Tuesday, he again has failed to turn up to training. However, they are reporting that he is expected to return to Tottenham's training sessions later on this week. It's being said that Kane is under the impression that a gentleman's agreement between him and Daniel Levy will be upheld this summer and he will be allowed to leave the club during this transfer window. But of course, it just depends on how much Tottenham and Levy, of course, want to dig their heels in to keep their superstar striker as to where the future of one Harry Kane lies. We already know that Manchester City have made a, an £100 million bid for Kane earlier this transfer window, which was, of course, rejected by Spurs. And, you know, whether or not City do get him or not, this news has created a bit of a divide over Kane's actions, whether it was uh, right of him to try and push out of, of Spurs or, or get a move out of Spurs in this manner by doing this kind of thing. One thing that's always been said about Harry Kane is his professionalism and this doesn't seem entirely professional on his part but many people are claiming that this would be the right move if you want to obviously further and make your career better and elevate to the next level in your career. So it's kind of divided a lot of opinion on this subject with Kane's actions. Kane's contract, of course, is set to expire in 2024, so Spurs do hold that that sort of contract card in their favour. But it's clear that as far as Kane is concerned, nothing has changed. He expressed a, a desire to leave Tottenham earlier this year, and that clearly hasn't changed. This saga, in my opinion, could go down to the final day, the deadline day of this transfer window. Even beyond that point, maybe Spurs get their wish and manage to keep him for at least another season. But either way, this will be definitely a very interesting saga to watch going forward, seeing as though it seems to have reignited over the past 24 hours. Our next story is simply a story that just won't go away. It's Romelu Lukaku, it's Chelsea. Are they set to reunite? Well, we have to wait and see, but Chelsea's pursuit is definitely not dying down anytime soon, it seems. This is a saga that has gone hot and cold across this summer, and there have been a number of conflicting reports on this particular news story. Yesterday, we saw in The Athletic that they had ran an article talking about how Chelsea are not giving up in their pursuit of Romelu Lukaku, despite having two bids already rejected by Inter Milan, and it was said that they were preparing a third bid for the Belgian striker and yesterday that third bid did come in. Chelsea reportedly offered Inter Milan 100 million euros plus left back Marcus Alonso for Romelu Lukaku and that bid has been turned down reportedly. It's being said that by multiple sources that 
The Blues simply just won't give up on their pursuit of Lukaku. They simply will not give up on this potential deal. And it's being said that despite having multiple bids turned down by Inter, talks are said to still be advancing, whether it be informal or, or sort of uh, between the Blues and the player Lukaku. Talks are said to be advancing and it's looking more and more likely that a deal could be struck uh, between all parties involved more so than it seemed several weeks ago and that the right and with that with the right price Inter may be willing to sell Lukaku and change their mind on this particular deal rumors are the Blues are preparing a fourth deal, uh, a fourth bid for the 28 year old R early reports are suggesting that the Blues could be offering something along the lines of 120 million at least uh, so it could be add-ons, it could be another kind of player plus deal, uh, could be another swap kind of deal, that kind of thing. But that is what early reports are suggesting that the Blues are lining up another bid. And again, I'll have to reiterate what I said yesterday on this. Chelsea must know something we don't, which is why they are staying in pursuit of this potential deal and being very public about it too. It, it, it's a very public deal that is set that is that is happening here and Chelsea are definitely in hot pursuit whether they can find a whether they can strike up a deal or not remains to be seen but one thing is for sure this this story this saga doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon and from one inter striker to another we move on to Argentina striker Latoro Martinez of well Inter Milan Several days ago, we spoke about Arsenal's alleged interest in the striker, and it seems those reports haven't gone away. And today is being said that talks between both clubs are still ongoing, negotiations are taking place. But the upside for you Arsenal fans is that the overall reaction to this possible deal appears to be cautiously positive and that a deal can be struck up here between all parties involved. Talks are said to be advancing. Inter, we know, are willing to sell players for the right price this summer, regardless of how much they're digging their heels in when it comes to Lukaku. But they are willing to uh, to sell some players, and Martinez seems to be on that kind of list. And Martinez himself is said to be very open to a move to the Premier League and to Arsenal, apparently. So, we'll, uh, so this deal does appear that this is it all in Arsenal's hands. The ball is well and truly in Arsenal's court on this. This seems to be, if they are willing and wanting this deal so badly, then it does appear that this deal is there for the taking. And just quickly on this deal, as well as the Lukaku, the potential of a Lukaku deal as well for Chelsea, I said yesterday again that I find it highly unlikely that Inter would sell both of their star strikers in Martinez and Lukaku. So it will be interesting to see if, where these two possible deals go from here, whether it's some sort of race between who gets their deal done first as to whether Inter keep one or sell both. I doubt they'll sell both. Could happen, but it does appear that it might be a bit of a race between both London clubs over who gets their deal done first. Either way, keep your eyes on Latoro Martinez and of course Romelu Lukaku over the coming weeks. For our next story, we stick with Arsenal and their interest in one James Madison of Leicester. Again, talks are said to be ongoing between both clubs and obviously the player himself. Reportedly, Arsenal are said to have either put in or readying up a bid for the midfielder. We know that Leicester are more open to selling uh, the England midfielder than they were several weeks ago. They seem to be coming around to the idea that if the right bid can be made, uh, then they may be willing to sell Madison at that particular cost. And for Arsenal, they would be acquiring, amongst all the other qualities and traits that Madison possesses, a midfielder that is creative, a midfielder that can chip in with goals. He has the capability of doing that. And they are definitely two things that Arsenal definitely need in that particular area. Very important qualities as far as Arsenal are concerned and what they are looking out for. So it does seem to be the right player in that respect. We know that Arsenal have already been busy in this transfer window, already acquiring the signings of Nuno Tavares, Albert Sambi Albert Lukonga 
and Ben White. They've all walked through the door at the Emirates over the past few weeks or so. And if the pursuit of Madison and Martinez to that effect are to progress further and things are seriously going to pick up over the next coming days or weeks, however long it may be till the end of the transfer window, then it... It could be an absolute madness being pulled off by Arsenal here. Arsenal may have performed an absolute madness in this transfer window if these two deals are to come off as well. And it will be an amazing transfer window for them on paper, in my opinion. We just wait and see if they can perform on the pitch and help Arsenal get back to where they want to be over this over the coming seasons or so. And finally, we come to Arsenal's fierce rivals, Tottenham, who have made a wave in this transfer window as well in the signing of Christian Romero. Now, the deal isn't exactly official yet. The club haven't come out and announced the official confirmation of this deal, but Atalanta have accepted a 50 million euro bid for the defender with the fee possibly rising a further 5 million in add-ons if, of course, they are met. Uh, we've known about Spurs' interest in the centre-back for a while. Allegedly, he's had a number of other clubs interested in, his, in signing him as well. But it seems that it is Tottenham who have landed their man, who have got their target and have signed Christian Romero. Pending a medical, it seems. It does seem that the only thing standing in their way of this being officially confirmed is a medical and then, of course, all the loose ends to be tied up and then it will be officially announced, it seems, that Christian Romero will become a Spurs player. Now, admittedly, I've watched very little of him. I've seen very few Atalanta games with him in it. Um, but from what I've seen and from what the couple of highlight videos that have been circulating on Twitter and uh, YouTube and stuff, he does still look a very good defender, he looks very talented and from what I've heard from other people that, I, that obviously know a bit more about him than I do is that he seems to be one of the better or best young centre-backs in Serie A and Tottenham possibly could have a real player on their hands here. And with what obviously Tottenham have already gone through in this transfer window in selling certain players, not really making many big waves in this transfer window so far and they possibly could lose so much more going forward Tottenham obviously needed to do something to try and get the fans on board ahead of the new season which of course is just over a week away um, and of course this is seemingly fairly a decent start in doing that but of course more needs to be done if you're Tottenham and hopefully for them they can obviously get some more deals over the line and get fans really excited ahead of the new season Tottenham have possibly made a big wave here. We wait and see where they go from here. But of course, as I always say, these are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it, of this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of or any of these stories that I've talked about in here? Uh, what do you make of Harry Kane missing training and possibly on his way to Manchester City? What do you make of Chelsea preparing a fourth bid for Romelu Lukaku? What do you make of Latoura Martinez and possibly going to Arsenal? The ball, like I say, does seem to be in Arsenal's court over this deal. And it's whether or not they actually genuinely want this deal to happen or not on their part. What do you make of James Madison possibly heading to Arsenal as well? Possibly following suit with the likes of Martinez to the Everett Stadium for next season. And what do you make of Tottenham signing Christian Romero pending a medical, it seems, of course. Uh, as the official confirmation has not come out just yet. I'd love to know your thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, whatever you want to call it on any of these news stories. They'll be greatly appreciated and, and make the interesting reading down in the comments section. Otherwise, hit the like button on the way up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new or want to see more content. It's both things always and from be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I will see you, sweet view, all again soon in another video.